Hello ladies and gentlemen, Spirit of the Law here. I had a comment that got me thinking a few days ago. The second video I uploaded to the channel was about fish traps, but it was more about relative collection rates between different food sources, rather than trying to answer when to make the transition from fish tiles to fish traps. Today I want to readdress the question of when to get fish traps by seeing how far the fishing ships have to be traveling before the slower collection rate of fish traps outweighs the wasted travel time. In other words, when is it more efficient for my collection rate to build fish traps? First of all, just to put the assumptions on the table, I'm going to be ignoring the 100 wood cost and the fish trap build time of 40 seconds. I'm also looking at a generic civilization in HD, so there's no gill nets factored in here, and we're not looking at the Japanese with their fishing bonus. What I'm interested in is food collection rate for a generic sieve, period. To establish a baseline comparison, I have a dock with three fishing ships. One is touching what I'll call a deep sea fish tile, another is a shore fish tile, and the third is a fish trap. There's no travel time for any of these ships, and after five minutes, these are their collection rates. First of all, we can eliminate shore fish from our test. Fish traps universally collect faster than shore fish, so they'll never be the more efficient option. So here's the premise of the question now. We all know that if the deep fish tiles are right beside the dock, they're the most time efficient way to gather food in the game. There's no reason to build fishing ships in this situation since they gather slower and they also cost wood, but we're just gonna ignore that little factor until the end. Can we agree though that in this situation, it's not as clear. There's a long way for the fishing ships to be traveling. So while they fill up with the 15 food quickly, there's a lot of wasted time going all the way back to the dock. They also bump into each other a lot more, but we're just going to, you guessed it, ignore that variable for now. Welcome to the world of the theoretical mathematician. So the next thing we have to know is how fast fishing ships travel, which as it turns out is 50 tile edge lengths in 40 seconds. Now we want to know how far away the deep fish tile has to be before I'd be making food faster by building a fish trap right beside the dock. It's a bit of a tricky thing to model at first glance, but I have a plan. Let's play this game again, and I want you to guess which of the deep sea fishing ships is collecting overall as fast as the fishing trap, once you factor in the travel time. Go ahead and use your intuition to make a guess. Okay, have your guess ready? Now let's see if you're right. I'm gonna start by converting the food per minute to food per second. And this means that the deep sea fishing ship is getting 15 food in 30.6 seconds of collecting, and the fish trap is getting 15 food in 43.2 seconds. In order to be dropping off their 15 food at the same time, that means the deep sea fishing ship has to do his traveling both ways in 12.6 seconds, or 6.3 seconds each way, which means about 8 tiles between the dock and the closest edge of the fishing tile. In a game, 8 tiles looks like this. Testing it out with a ship going back and forth 8 tiles away versus a fishing trap, they're almost identical for dropping off their 15 food. Good job, math. It looks like that makes H the winner of our little game, but if you said G or I, I'd still give you half a point. So it turns out the distance is a lot closer than I thought it would be. I would have guessed D or E based on how much everybody slams fishing ships. Surprisingly, comparing the fastest food gather rate in the game to one of the slowest, it only takes 8 tiles of traveling to balance that out. Let's try to bring up some of those neglected variables that I ignored though. So here's a few more arguments in defense of fish traps. Number one, we've probably overestimated the deep sea fishing speed a bit, because once you get a few more fishing ships, they're going to bump into each other a lot and slow each other down. Number two, you have to keep a bit more of an eye on deep sea fishing ships because if you haven't explored any more fish, they'll either just stop working or almost as bad, they'll start taking shore fish. Overall, I found they need a bit more babysitting than fish traps, which alert you if they've expired with a little noise. I was gonna give a number three, but I don't think there is one. Sorry guys, I tried. Now let's take a look at a few more arguments against fish traps that weren't captured in the test. Number one, the same argument could be made against fish traps that was number one for them. They do interfere with each other and they require a one to three tile spacing around the dock in practice if you want to get quite a few in there. So they're probably not as good in practice as they seemed in my tests, which were very efficiently laid out and had zero travel distance. Number two, they cost 100 wood. Yes, that's an incredibly high food to wood ratio that it pays back, but sending 10 fishing ships onto traps costs 1,000 wood up front. 
They're also slower than farmers at collecting food, so when population limit becomes a factor, many people prefer to destroy their fishing ships for this reason alone. Number three, fish traps take 40 seconds to build. That's a bit of a strike against them, but to be fair, it's only about 22 food that could have been collected from deep fish tile in that time. Number four, related to that, fish traps require protection. If you're taking deep fish and you're raided, you can run the fishing ships to another dock and start up again there. It's free food and it's all over the place in the early game. Running away from your fish traps means they're dead and all the wood is down the drain. Okay, so now for the too long didn't read summary. One, fish traps always collect faster than shore fish. Number two, if your fish traps are going more than eight tiles or about three dock lengths away to get their big fish, then they'll collect food faster from fishing traps. Number three, you may still prefer the slower collection rate of long distance deep sea fishing over fish traps for other reasons. And that's cool too. So that's all for this one. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.